Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We are out on the Hot Rod 350 Classic, the Zenfield. Gonna set up camp, I'm out camping. I've got all my tent gear and all that stuff. And this bag right here, I got that bag of Baxter Cycle. Tent, sleeping mattress, sleeping bag, air pump. Then in here I've got a chair. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set all that stuff up and then we'll, I'll show you, tell you what, I got, what all I got. Everybody's been asking, so that's my whole setup in there. Uh, in here I've got a bag full of food, and over here I've got a bunch of clothing and jackets and things like that. Catch up with you in a bit. Wahoo! Sleeping mattress. Air pump. Let's see what else I got here. Ah, that is a uh, fly for my tent. Tent right there. Close nature two man tent. And then right here is my Mallow Me sleeping bag. So I've got tent with the fly, sleeping bag, air mattress that I've never used yet. We'll tell you all about that. And then my uh, blower upper. Okay, let's get this stuff all together. That's the actual tent. Those are the poles and the uh, pegs. All right, I've got a nice flat spot right here I'm gonna use. There she is all laid out. Over here are my tent stakes. They're kind of nifty, they're aluminum. Pretty sturdy, I've used this tent I think seven times now. And then in this bag is my pole system. There's only one pole. Everything's tied together. This is the pole system all put together. It's got this center divider here, and that's really important because that makes the inside of the tent very wide when you get it together. And then something else to point out. This is a metal clip here. The older style of this tent had plastic. And the ends of these poles right here, right there, fit inside those clips. And then when you get the tent set up, you put the fly screen on, and that has these same kind of clips that will fit on the bottom end of these. I think it's a very sturdy system. Before I put the fly screen on, I wanted to show you some of the features, some of the reasons I bought this tent. The one-piece pole system is very important to me. The uh, clips that hook to the bars, instead of running through little, some tents will have little piping that you run the, these things through. This has clips. The clips are very easy to get on and off. Just like that. The foot system, the fact that it's a freestanding tent that I can, if I don't have it staked down, I can, if I don't like it right here, I can move it a little bit, a little over here, a little over there, maybe into a whole different spot. I like the fact that it has so much mesh so it can breathe very well. It has two doors, a door on each side. That was very important also. And it also has the pan design. And then after I put the fly screen on, I get these vestibules on the front and on the back that I can store a bunch of gear in. Also note the venting. There's little things here that hold these open so you can get good venting. First time I set this tent up, it was in uh, Car Engine, Nebraska, Alliance, Nebraska. And it actually, as soon as I got it set up, it started to pour rain and I actually ended up in the tent for eight or 10 hours. I had just, I had ridden about 500 miles that day. So I went in there and crashed. I had all my gear in there. My, sleeping pad and everything, so it was a good deal for me. But uh, the next day, you know, the thing was dry and ready to go and I packed it up and away I went. So this is my sleeping mat. It's called Sleep and Go, Sleeping Go, Sleeping O. I'm not sure what it's called. It's supposed to be about two inches thick when it's done. It was pretty highly rated by a lot of, you know, very high rated actually. Uh, there were a couple of haters on it that said it was too thin or too cold. I'm using it for summer camping. I'm motorcycle camping after all. So I don't think cold is going to be a problem. And also I have a good sleeping bag. Okay, the pump end fit perfectly in there. Pump the whole thing up. I'm looking at it now thinking, boy, that looks really thin. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm going to sleep on that tonight. This is the head end, foot end. And I will let you all know what I think of that in the morning. It seems pretty, pretty darn flimsy. I was uh, watching uh, backpacking videos to find this. So, sleeping go right there. All right, I'll get my sleeping bag out. Okay, there's what the bag looks like out of the, out of the uh, pouch. 
It's a pretty thin bag. It's rated at uh, 50 degrees comfort, and I can sleep in this comfortably in my skivvies at 50 degrees. It also has this hood right here, and I don't, use, I don't use that or haven't yet. So what I do is I stuff that with a sweatshirt or something like that, and uh, it has these drawstrings, and I use it as a pillow. Pretty good bag, really. Okay, here comes the tricky part. I gotta get this stuff into that tent with all these bugs. I mean, without all these bugs. <laughs> Wish me luck. Alrighty, I got her in there. It's got these little uh, tie downs so you can open these vestibules up and wrap them up if you need to on both sides. Got my stuff right there. I'll put my shoes probably inside the tent. I left the shoes outside last, I think we were in South Dakota. And the next morning there was a big old spider in there. And my camping buddy, Gary, my best friend in the world, Gary, wouldn't reach his hand in there and get that spider out for me. Can you believe that? <laughs> anyway, just kidding. All kidding aside. Pretty good rig, huh? Uh, these bars, this bar across the top, really opens it up on the inside. So when you sit up, there's a lot of headroom in this tent. When you sit up in there, I mean, it, when you lay in there, we'll get some pictures of the inside. Good morning, y'all. Fuzzy Biker here. Oh, what a good night's sleep, huh? Uh, the, uh, oh, warm enough all night. It's supposed to be in the 50s, but I was pretty warm all night. The sleeping bag does really well. And the uh, sleeping mat was a little thin, but it was adequate. Way better than the rubber mat I used last at South Dakota a week ago. Way better, but still a little thin. Especially, I, I broke all the bones in my left, my right side here my shoulder and that that got a little sore when I was leaning, laying on this side but uh, we'll give it another night or two see if it gets better uh, the birds why the birds were great out that's why I camped the birds but uh, about uh, an hour ago the birds started singing I call it the coffee the birds coffee hour they get up and they make all kinds of racket and they sing and they you know talk about their day before and then they about you know about now 5 30 they get up and go to work and, uh, the same kind of ceases, but I uh, told you to show you the inside of the tent. See how wide it is through here on the top? My old tent was more of a slope through here. And the white reason that's so wide is there's a bar that goes across like that. And of course you can see the feet. See how the fly cover covers. And does so well. Pardon the mess in here. So look how much room I got in here. Now this is a two-man tent. Just loads of room. Look at all the, you know, netting and... Got a door on each side. Hey, you know. Excuse me. Life is good. Life is good. Catch up in a bit. Wow. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a rundown on the camping gear. Check out the motorcycle here. All just covered in dew. <laughs> just uh, anyway. So the tent itself. The tent itself were great. I've had that tent now for. I've used it. I don't know. Eight, seven, eight times. Absolutely beautiful tent. Loads of room inside. Uh, keeps the rain out. I have been caught in the rain in it. Absolutely no trouble at all. The uh, sleeping bag that I have, I love that sleeping bag. It got down to 52 or so last night. No no troubles there at all. It was very warm. It was in miscivies. No, no issues at all. And uh, that's all wet right now, so I'm not going to try to open it. The sleeping mat, on the other hand, uh, I when I got it out and showed it to y'all, I said it was narrow and thin. Uh, the narrow part, narrow meaning my shoulder width, that actually was not a problem. I thought that would be a big problem. It was not a problem at all. I, I slept on it just fine all night long. The uh, thickness, it's only two inches thick at the thickest points. That was a little bit of an issue. I might be able to get used to that, but we'll have to see how that goes. I'll use it. I'm going to use it a couple more nights here. And we've got a couple more. I think I've got at least one more night of camping plan, so we'll see where that goes. Now, I'm going to clean up the helmet a little bit here. Here's my camping setup here. I got my jacket out over yonder. It got a little wet. There's my breakfast in that bag over there. I've got my, hey, check it out. Have never seen that before. I'm going to give, going to give that a try. See how that works out for us. And a little bit of, I've got like cereal and something like that in that bag, but uh, Wonderful, wonderful day motorcycle camping. I'm going to run over the hill here in a little bit after it warms up and uh, take a hike. And then later today, I'll try to get over to Makokota Cave and see what I can learn there. Hey, life is short. Get out and ride. Get out and camp. Get out and live life. Wahoo.
Yippee-yay-yay, -yay. yippee-yay-yo. Down the road we go. Beautiful, beautiful machine. Turn the radio on. 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 Turn the radio on.